Hello, my name is George McLaras. Welcome to the Galaxy Community Conference 2013. The purpose of this screencast is to show you how to install VirtualBox on a Linux operating system, in this particular case a Fedora 18 distribution. VirtualBox is a virtualization solution. It allows you to run a number of virtual machines or VMs on your system and it's uh, cross-platform based, that's why we chose it. So during the training day we'll use an Ubuntu based VM to teach you about Galaxy. So it's important that you become familiar with VirtualBox and import the Galaxy VM image to your local system properly. So I'm going to show you how. Right, on my Linux distro I'm going to choose my default package manager and that is yum to install VirtualBox. Alternatively if you want the latest and the greatest uh, or if your distribution doesn't support uh, uh, VirtualBox uh, from the default package repository you can actually download a virtual box from the uh, virtual box website which is www.virtualbox.org and then choose your distribution or a an entry that matches closely your distribution for example if you have rail 6 then you should use red hat enterprise linux 6 as it's shown here I386 uh, in all these entries uh, notes uh, the 32 bit distribution package, whereas AMD64 is for the 64 bit kernels. Okay, so going back to the uh, um, command prompt, I'm going to become root in my system, and then the first thing I'm going to do is try and search for the virtual box so I'm doing yum search virtual box and immediately I see a number of entries um, there is there are actually package meta entries here that uh, match a particular kernel version in my system I'm running currently the latest uh, Fedora 18 kernel which is 395 so obviously the matching kernel module because VirtualBox has a kernel dependency is this one here but I'm going to start with uh, the simpler meta package which is yum install VirtualBox uh, with capital B and then hopefully yum should be able to resolve all necessary dependencies which means it will select all the libraries and the relevant kernel module for my case. Okay, that will take some time to download and install. In the meantime, uh, another important thing that we should say is that we have an FTP website so that we can import the basic Galaxy image. That FTP website is this one. So that URL uh, ftp.no.mnet.org slash galaxy slash images slash basic workshop dot OVA is, uh, will give you the image that we are going to use for the workshop. And in fact this is what I'm doing here. I can uh, safely interrupt that and show you how you can download that straight from the command prompt using wget wget c to continue in case you interrupt the transfer and this is the URL here so it's good if you perform that and if you at least download the image before the workshop uh, because it's uh, approximately a 4 gig image and it might take some time for you to download Okay, going back to the uh, virtual box installation, um, we can see that uh, it's finishing the installation. So we should now be ready to start using virtual box. Okay, now that the installation is finished, what we need to do is to try and launch virtual box. 
uh, from the command line I uh, went back to username Georgios and if I type VirtualBox this is the graphical user environment of VirtualBox um, one important thing to do before we attempt to import the basic workshop image our Galaxy basic uh, VM image is to take a look at preferences here you find all sorts of uh, uh, preferences and, and settings for your uh, virtualization engine uh, how it performs and how it works and one important aspect is where you actually have uh, placed your virtual images because it has to do with disk space in fact it's good if your laptop or system that you're gonna bring along has at least 15 to 20 gigs of space free just in case you want to install uh, multi uh, the, the image or run the image uh, multiple times so um, one thing to do is to make sure that we point the default image directory to a volume or place in our hard drive where we have a lot of space and um, in the default Linux environment the default installation is to point to your home directory under a subdirectory called VirtualBox VMs uh, I'm gonna try and modify that and go and point this somewhere else so I'm gonna go to a volume called VM1 in my system I'm gonna create a folder called VertBox and I'm gonna make sure that VertBox points to that folder instead because I know that I have plenty of disk space there okay let's try now and import the basic workshop image which is our Ubuntu VM so what we can do is we can go very simply to import appliance open appliance then we can go to file system VM1 where we saved the uh, OVA file which is the image file this is the file that we have downloaded from the FTP server and then click open go to next check out here a number of parameters they seem to be okay and then click simply import at this stage the system will actually take some time to read the downloaded image the OVA file and then create all the image structure that's required to set up the the VM on our system locally um, depending on how fast your laptop might be and the number of cores and your uh, the, the speed of your hard drive this can take anything from uh, two minutes to uh, a good ten minutes
okay and at that point we have successfully imported the uh, OVA file into uh, our vert virtual box installation um, if everything goes well you should be able to get to this virtual box manager screen where the system details are actually outlined uh, so you should have uh, a virtual machine with the name GCC 2013 workshop the operating system of course is Ubuntu the base memory is 1 gig with two processors and uh, what we can do now is try and start the system at this point we might try and set up the networking settings this is going to be essential um, in order to be for you to be able to access that system and uh, be able to share it on the net so um, there are many different uh, modes of networking um, between these two the internal network host only adapter generic driver and the bridge adapter I'm gonna go with the bridge adapter mode here and at that point the system will boot up and this, uh, this is our basic Ubuntu environment okay and then some things that we should check now that we've launched the uh, virtual machine successfully first of all I would check by means of the um, browser that we have for example internet access so for example um, and we seem to be okay um, another thing that we could do is of course familiarize ourselves with uh, the uh, system itself so for example I could check that the IP address of the system is accessible by my um, guest by my sorry by my host operating system so if I'm running now this uh, Ubuntu VM with an IP address of 10.0.0.12 then in theory if I go to back to my host operating system the Fedora system and I open it up I should be able to see the system and in fact I do that shows that the bridge networking configuration that I chose previously works correctly well the rest is up to you if you reach this stage that means that you can now start playing with uh, the local Galaxy installation and you should be ready to start uh, the workshop